Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Mod tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to be creating a custom pressure plate and a custom button. So let's get started. We are going to want to go into our init blocks and create a new package called activators and then create custom block pressure plate and custom block button. This is going to extend block button. We're going to have to add the constructor, make it public, and put false as we are not making a wooden button. We are then going to have to add our normal things, string name, float hardness, and float resistance. And you can remove billion wooden. We are then going to need to set them as normal. And then we're going to have to add two functions called play click sound, which is going to be world in dot play sound player pause then the sound you want sound events dot type button and then you can choose any of them i'm going to do just stone button click on the category is sound category dot blocks the volume 1.0f and the pitch 1.0f then the same play release sound it's basically the same thing world in dot play sound entity player null pause as normal then sound in is going to be sound events dot um, stone button click off sound category dot blocks and if we can just copy all this last bit it's all the same so sound category dot blocks 1.0f 1.0f and that is block button done now for the pressure plate all we have to do is copy everything that's inside of here extend block pressure plate and then paste this in change this to constructor and then for super it wants a material and a sensitivity so material dot iron and sensitivity dot mobs so items won't activate our pressure plate but mobs will now we have to remove these two functions and change them to play click on sound which we are going to do world in dot play sound entity player null color um, sound events just type sound events dot just type pressure plate and it'll come up press plate I'm going to do a block metal press plate on and for category sound category dot blocks 1.0f 1.0f and then play click off sound it's basically going to be the same thing you can basically copy this whole thing and just put this is going to be pause I don't know why this is cool I'm going to change this to pause as well So, entity player null, pause, sound events, dot metal press plate click off, sound category of blocks, 1.0f, 1.0f, and save that. We have the two classes. Now we'll go into our block in it once again and create these two. We then need to initialize them once again, then register them, and there we go. Now once again the models are available on my github, I will upload them straight after this video, sorry I forgot to do it in the last episode, but they will be available on my github, I'm just going to copy them from my files. Now 
And there we go, all my models are done. Once again, no need for textures as it just uses our tutorial block to create the texture itself. If you have copied and pasted everything correctly and renamed it, so make sure you've renamed all the things, your mod ID correctly and the name correctly. You should find in your game that all the item and models work. As you can see, I have tutorial button and tutorial pressure plate. I've incorrectly named my button by accident. So I'll just quickly go into my lang tutorial button dot name. That'll work in a minute. If we place down our button, as you can see it's just it's the normal button and you can press it and you can probably hear the game sounds when I right click it. It's on, off, on, off. If we want to test redstone signal, let's just get a piece of redstone. When we right click it, as you can see, it turns the redstone on. So that's working. Let's get the pressure plate. I've made my pressure plate so it's like a normal pressure plate, but you can also make it so it's like a weighted pressure plate quite easily. Using the same tutorial, just extend weighted pressure plate. As you can see, redstone works and the texture goes down. It's quite cool. And if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below and subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you didn't see yesterday's video, I created a Discord server. So make sure to join it if you have any problems and then you can talk to me or other people about your problems you're having. Once again, thanks for all the support on the videos. I've been Harry, thank you for watching and goodbye.